Before continuing this video, it is imperative that you watch this video as I will not be explaining any of the lossless scaling feature except the latest update. This is a very short video explaining about the new update. Now, this latest update, the Adaptive Frame Generation is a game changer for those who want to achieve maximum FPS in your current monitor, say 144 FPS which I have currently. First, you go to any game that you want to test. I choose Monster Hunter Wilds because of how demanding it is. Next, select the Adaptive Mode and set the target FPS of what you want. It is recommended to set it the same as your monitor's refresh rate. Once you are done, activate the lossless scaling and see the magic. Voila! As you can see, no matter what FPS you have, even if it drops below 60 FPS, it is still smooth as steel. The frame pacing is much better in adaptive compared to fixed. This has become a better option to pick if you don't want to be confused when setting minimum FPS, and then multiply it perfectly to achieve the desired FPS. Not only that, it delivers better frame pacing. Finally, the flow scale. The information of what it does can be found by highlighting. I don't fiddle this as much cause I didn't have any issue that leads me to fiddle this setting. Different computer, different case. So try it on your end. Here are the questions that you may have. Do you still need to cap FPS after using adaptive mode? Generally not needed. You can up cap FPS but it is still better to cap it to give more GPU resources for lossless. Also, cap FPS gives much less noticeable artifact and ghosting. Do you still need to fiddle the max frame latency? As explained in the last video, you now don't need to set the max frame latency other than 1. How does adaptive mode frame generation work? Unlike fixed mode where it uses multiplier x2, x3 from base FPS, it uses whatever multiplier to achieve the target FPS, maybe 1.5, 1.6, you name it. That's what it makes adaptive a whole lot better. How do you get this? By going to beta beta channel in Steam and then verify integrity. It will auto download the latest update. If it doesn't auto-update, restart Steam and redo the steps. Close lossless scaling and restart it too. Hopefully, you can now enjoy the adaptive frame gen and embrace the newest magic update of lossless scaling.